Hey guys, let's see how to set up a TAPO C100 camera. Out of the box, the camera is ready for the setup. You see here that flashing the LED, orange and green, and it's connected to power, right? There is no SD card yet, so you can insert SD card later. But basically here, you are ready to set up your camera and then you need to use the TAPO app, okay? So here I have the TAPO app. You can download from your store, Google Store or Android Store. And then you just need to add a new camera here. Let me just approach so you see better that I just come here to the plus signal to add a new camera, add a new device. And then I look for indoor camera. In this case is a Tapu C100. There we go. And now you just need to check if the camera is flashing red and green. It's flashing here. Okay, orange or red is for me like looks like orange, but it says red and green. There we go. Now it's time to connect to the camera. Basically the cell phone is connecting to this camera signal first, not to the router, right? Later you're going to connect to the router, but basically here is the camera first. You go to your Wi-Fi, and you're gonna look for the camera signal. So just look for Tapo here. You see a lot of signal. There we go, Tapo, it's refreshing. Just went somewhere, there we go, Tapo Cam. Now it's blue, it's connected to the camera, and then you come back to the app, okay? It's the same with the Android, just connect to the camera and wait for it. There we go, now you just need to insert the router and password, okay? Just keep here, keep trying Wi-Fi if you see this message. And here is my router signal and the password, okay? I'm just using one here for testing, but you just need to insert your router's password. Then next, confirm. Connecting to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi connected. Okay, now you just need to name, name your camera here. And also select the location. Let me just put here as office. And next, select an icon for your camera, any one you want. There we go, setup complete, sounds good. Now I'll we'll just dismiss this. And you can insert the SD card, right? As a local storage. Got it, got it for the firmware update. And you're good to go, okay? Let me just put the camera back there so you can see something. And here you see the camera's ready to connect. There we go, it's connected. And now if I move here, you see, that's moving there. A little bit of latency, but that's okay with the uh, Wi-Fi camera. It's working, all right? Now you can just, you see motion detection. That's the camera information. And you can, can come here and take a look at the recordings. So basically you see storage and recordings local storage, so there's no local recording yet. I'm gonna insert an SD card into this camera. So you can grab an SD card that works for you. I'll leave the link here in the description for a good SD card. So basically I'm using this one, okay? I'm gonna insert here. There's this slot for the camera's SD card. Just need to insert it here, just like so. And then you need to format the SD card. Right? So after inserting here, it's not finished yet. Just come here, the camera keeps detecting something. And then on local storage, you just need to enable here. But first you need to format the SD card as well, right? So here, local storage. It's not detecting the card for some reason. Let me just remove and insert it again. There we go. Here is the storage location, my SD card. Let's see now if it works. For some reason, you can't see the SD card. In this case, you can't just format the SD card in a computer and put it back, or you can just restart the camera and see if it works. Let me just restart first. I just unplug here and plug it back. 
Sometimes that happens, but basically the camera needs to detect the SD card, right? So here you see that I have local recording in local storage, no micro, micro SD card. You need to see this option available so you can format the SD card because it's the first time the camera is using it, right? So just restart your camera and wait for this to change the status. And let's see what happens now, right? There we go, it's green now. Let me just come back to the main menu here. Storage and recording again. And now you see the menu is different, okay? Now you see local storage. That's good. When I click here and tap here, you see that's the information for the recording schedule. And here I can format the SD card, right? It's the better idea. First thing that you do here is format the SD card because it's a new one. Hit here, it's formatting now. There we go. So you see that sometimes it's it just a question of restart the camera or you can also format is using your computer. Okay, sometimes you just need to remove, put in your computer, format there and bring it back. So basically here I have the information about the local recording and the storage. And you can select here if you want to have a schedule to record. At first it comes recording every day. You can also record sound because there's a microphone in the camera. And you can also enable motion detection here. You see motion detection is on, person detection also on, camera tampering, basically if somebody blocks your camera, you can turn this on if you want to. That's good because somebody blocking the camera, then it triggers an alarm and records, right? You see it keeps detecting motion here. You can also adjust the sensitivity. It comes with a good, good one, just in the center here, but you can change if you want to. There we go, baby crying. If you have a baby there, you want to detect baby crying, you can use this as well, right? So basically working right now and it starts recording. Okay, I'll just move the camera there. You see that keeps showing the latest picture that he saw. There was the box back there. Let me just go live now. There we go, now it's live. See that I'm moving back there. And now it's going to record everything. And later I can just check the recording. You see here, there's a button for playback and download. And from here, you can see all your recordings. It starts recording and showing you here all day long. You have a, here a calendar that you can take a look. You see the recording there. And I also have a calendar that you can check here. The days, right? So that's the way you can set up a Tapo camera, insert the SD card and start recording everything and you're good to go, right? I hope you like this video. This again is the Tapo C100 setup. Please leave your comments here. Subscribe to the channel and I see you in the next one.